And with the news of fully vaccinated people no longer having to wear face coverings, where does that leave places like our resorts and our casinos? Madison Kimbrough has the latest on what many on the Strip are doing and how guests feel about this new guidance. Madison? Yes, several properties on the Las Vegas Strip have already adopted these new guidelines from the MGM properties that you're looking at right now. Caesars properties to the Cosmopolitan, Wynn, Encore, Venetian, Palazzo. Now, while some guests welcome the change, others say they are keeping their masks on for now. I always wear my mask inside. You don't know who's going to be vaccinated, and so you just continue to do what's right for you. Resorts on the Strip immediately jumping on board with the CDC guidance. So how are visitors feeling about this? It's like 50-50. We mask up inside if we're in crowded areas, but outside it's, you know, we feel all right about it. We're vaccinated. Can't really tell who's been vaccinated or not. So, I mean, like we were walking around without masks, we're not vaccinated. I'm not taking that chance with nobody else, especially my grandma or older people and stuff like that. I don't want them to catch it just because I came out here vacationing. While many of these resorts and casinos are adopting the honor code, not asking for proof of vaccination for guests, employees at MGM and the Venetian will continue to mask up even if they have received their vaccine. And the stores inside of the resorts can still implement mask regulations. So yesterday I had a gentleman at my work was uh, telling everybody they could take off their masks because of the CDC lifting, which is kind of like an inconvenience for us because our store still has the mandate. Now, I also reached out to Station Casinos and Boyd Gaming. I am waiting to hear back. Now, I did go inside several strip properties today, and what I saw was about half were wearing their masks, people just walking around, while a lot of the employees were also masked up as well. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.